Wahlberg and Peter Berg team up again for the new movie, Mile 22. We're rolling film right now. What's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button, bell notification icon in the corner. You guys get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. Also, after the video, stick around and comment and like after the video. I'm going to be reviewing Mile 22. Mile 22 is rated R with a runtime of 1 hour, 35 minutes. It stars Mark Wahlberg, Lauren Cohen, Iko Uwais, John Malkovich, and Ronda Rousey, and is directed by Peter Berg. Um, right out of the gate, this movie uh, it kind of plays in the same tropes as the other films with the action films, and it's a typical Mark Wahlberg, Peter Berg uh, team-up movie, but I think this is the weaker of the movies that they've done together. Pretty much we have the opening scene where Wahlberg and his team infiltrate a house. Um, their mission is pretty much to find and take out shipments of, it's called cesium, um, before the chemicals can be weaponized, obviously, to start a mass war. Um, or mass killings. So a boy is, uh, like a, a child is killed by Wahlberg, who pretty much who ends up escaping the burning house and pretty much pleads with Mark Wahlberg to not kill him, but he ends up shooting him. Um, so then we fast forward. Lee Knorr it, uh, holds up a disc. He is a, uh, uh, he, he was a soldier who ends up holding, he's right in front of the U.S. Embassy, and he holds up this disc before being surrendered and detained. Well, we find out that this disc uh, is info, information regarding the last of the cesium. Um, so he is the only one who has the code, and he will not give the code away until he is out, out of the, out of the uh, area, uh, which is 22 miles away at the airport. So that's pretty much like the, the basic gist of this film. Well, when Lee Nor is getting handcuffed, uh, there's a couple guys that end up, be, they fake being medical personnel, but they want to try to take him out because they want to kill him because they want to take uh, the cesium for themselves, and they want uh, to kill him because he is a traitor. Uh, that produces the best fight scene in the movie. It's really awesome. There's a big back and forth scene. If you've seen the trailer, I'd say it's about a five, between a five and ten minute action scene, which was really great. Um, and it's pretty much a race against the clock for Mark Wahlberg and his squad to get Lee Nor to uh, the airport in order to get the code for the last of the cesium. Overall, though, this film, uh, it's just the, the ending of the film is the thing that really gets me. I feel like we just threw this random ending together, and that's the weakest part of this film is the back end of the film uh, leading up to the payoff. Uh, and then the ticks that the random characters have. We have Lee Nor's character who has a tick where he just go, he'll go like this as a way to calm himself. And then we have Mark Wahlberg's character, which this is annoying. I get that you know uh, people have ticks and stuff like that, but the ticks don't really do anything into the film. Um, we have a tick with Mark Wahlberg where he has a band on his wrist, and he'll constantly click it whenever he's like nervous because he's so high functional. Um, he's very uh, spontaneous and random, and very like high functioning and very like nervous all the time. So he he constantly does that. It really doesn't serve much of a purpose of the film. Um, and then the film overall in general can be very confusing at times. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of things being thrown at you. Uh, and then you have to think about like what the heck's going on. And that guy, that, that can get kind of confusing. Overall, the pros to it were solid action scenes like I mentioned. Um, Wal Wahlberg's always good in action films. It was nice to see Ronda Rousey in the film as well uh, to portray her character. Uh, like she made a cameo in the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, and now with her success in the WWE, they got her into uh, Peter Berg's Mile 22. Overall, I gave the movie two and a half out of five stars. Um, it was an action. It was a solid action flick. If you're looking for, like for an action flick and you enjoy Mark Wahlberg movies, you'll enjoy this. But overall, story wise and everything all together, I just couldn't get it a high enough grade higher than a two and a half out of five. Uh, and that's really about it. More importantly, I want to know, have you guys seen Mile 22? If you guys have, did you guys enjoy the film or not? I want to know. Sound off there in the comments. Let me know. What did you guys think of it? What is your favorite Peter Berg, Mark Wahlberg mashup together? I want to know. Sound off there in the comments. See next time in House Hollywood Reviews when I bring you the new movie, Alpha. And until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.